by now you are ready to take a look. So let's walk through a brief demo of Cheetah Loyalty's powerful and elegant loyalty solution. Returning for their final command, our demo DJs, Julian and John. Woo. Thank you. Thank you, Jillian. Thank you. Jillian and Julian. Julian. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Cheetah Digital, they're so serious about being loyal to loyalty, they only use hosts who share almost exactly the same letters in their name. It's true. Anyway, for my highly anticipated second album, uh, I'm going to show you some specific tools and features within Cheetah Loyalty that any marketer could use across the Cheetah suite. These will enhance their customer experience and create greater customer engagement. These are tools that marketers can use with or without, that's key, having a full-blown loyalty program in place, and I will strengthen what they are currently doing, such as Cheetah messaging experiences. I did experiences, so we can use that here. That's brilliant. Um, let's start by creating a very personalized offer for a specific audience John created in the data platform. It's all tying back together. Look at that. So right now, you're looking at the offers. So we're going to jump straight into one, but just know that we would have hit the Create button normally, and in the Create button, that would have provided a quick visit wizard like uh, with experiences, and we could have set how a user would have seen that uh, offer. So we could use barcode. We could have used a QR code when they work. We could have used um, this one here, which is certificate. So I'm jumping into this offer for the free Infini Snapback, um, which is a hat, I'm told, yeah. sort of a flat hat. OK. Um, what we're doing here, by the way, to set this up further, with this offer, so earlier we were trying to acquire interesting new users. With the fact that John's identified that some of these users we got were actually, they're falling off, we need to dangle that carrot again, remember that one, in front of them so then we can, we're going to do that through an offer, a very personalized offer. What I want to mention on this screen here, so we've generated a certificate in this example. So you can see the certificates at the bottom of the screen as you look. It's very small, but you can go quick. Here you can see the number of certificates that have been created. There's a little edit button on the right-hand side. That means the very certificate itself can be tailored for a very specific person or individual, because a lot of you here represent very high-value brands. So maybe what you're trying to do is actually take a very specific group and do very personalized offers. That's how you do it here. As you can see, Bill, it's Bill again, he's already been in, uh, he's received a snapback offer and has already got it. What I want to jump now is the really important bit in eligibility, because this again ties us back to good old data platform, the engagement data platform, because this is how we bring in audiences. So this is pulled directly from the platform. So this is where we can, we've created our offer, so now we need to create, create the audience who will see this offer. So at this one, we're going to do at risk to unsubscribe, which John created. We can exclude audiences as well. So let's get rid of millennial trainers, because they're the kind of people who wear shirts like this, and we don't want that today, OK? As Gillian mentioned, locations. So we can add and exclude locations. So that helps trigger when the offer's signed. So we'll do the Signals 19 one. And there we have it. That's how we've taken our offer. We've we added our audience. And now we just need to push it out. And importantly, we need to push it to where they actually are. So for that, we're going to head to campaigns briefly. And we're going to go into our re-engagement campaign. And remember, this, is, this part is how we're going to push the offer to where the audience is. So in offers, you can see that here's our offers that are applied. And we can add additional ones and pause ones and add, add new ones at any point. But the most exciting thing is placements. And let me put this on full screen for you. There you go. So here we are, all these different places where that offer can be pushed to directly. Most excitingly, because we love a consistent brand, Cheetah Experiences, Cheetah Messaging, Cheetah Wallet. They're all these places where this offer can be pushed. And as Gillian got really excited, and actually all you did as well, so I'll, I'll really go for it, Cheetah Wallet. Let's have a look at Cheetah Wallet for a second. So we click onto this. So to start with, let's just show you how it's set up, and then we'll, we'll go do something a little bit different. So right at the beginning, you can see this mobile pass. And I should have also said, I'm sure a lot of you used a wallet to get here to this very event. I'm sure many of you actually had your air ticket in your wallet, and that you scanned it, and it updated when the gate changed. That's what we're talking about here, this cheetah wallet, this sort of pass that can live there. So here, you can, this is where you can tailor the wallet with colors and images and do the, all, the edit, all the good editing stuff that we've shown you to date. The front and the back contents where it gets really interesting, because this is where you can add the, the pool data platform to add things such as the loyalty points and the QR code, which all can come from the, the data platform. And the back content is where we push the offers and where we can set locations. And one second, I'll be back in a minute. I'm still there, Gillian, don't worry. There we are. 
Ta-da! So this is an actual uh, Cheetah wallet in action. This is for the Infini brand. You're all familiar with the front face. You can see that you know it's a segment, uh, current tiers platinum, and there's points available. So that's all powered from this. And this is the really exciting bit, the back of the wallet. This is where all the details are for the offers. This is where we can put recommended locations and geolocations. This is where we actually could put even a link to experiences. And of course, when this is all updated, it notifies the user because at the top, we have uh, updates and notifications. That's what we mean by why we can turn this into uh, a marketing channel. Seamless transition. There we are, I'm back. Right, to end though, because it's not just uh, Cheetah Wallet though, as a new way to communicate through loyalty. Every customer interaction is a marketing opportunity, and that's why we now have tools within Cheetah Loyalty that allow call center reps, often the front line of, uh, of your staff, to personalize their experience with customers. We can help guide them with data-driven context. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's take an example, Bill. Good old Bill, he got his offer. He is just called the call center because he's not happy because he couldn't use his offer. He's a, he's a grumpy Bill. With, the, with this platform and this dashboard you're looking at now, our call center rep can load his profile, his brand profile instantly. We can see that he's a pro user, so we need to make sure he's looked after. His satisfaction, he ain't got no satisfaction, that's a flag. <laughs> Going down, thank you, I, I like that pity laugh. For the machine learning section that John mentioned, he's at a moderate attrition risk, another flag. But if we head into orders, which I won't do for time, or maybe I'll do it quickly. Orders, we can see that he's actually buying a lot of stuff frequently. We need to keep Bill happy. And of course, with this, the call center at them can make a decision during the call, not only by saying, oh, nice things, Bill, you probably look great in the shirts that you bought, buy for us, but we can also reissue that offer here. And we can also do additional things, such as I'm gonna give Bill an extra 10% off his next purchase because we need to keep Bill loyal and happy. And on that note, another tool which we can make available to these call center reps, and again, we'll quickly change, is Cheetah Messaging Archive, which Dave mentioned, which is a woo, yay, great, woo. Um, and I'm gonna quickly show you what this is actually, it is really cool. Um, let me just do snap back, and then we can conclude. So this, as Dave mentioned, provides an immutable, what a great word, immutable, immutable copy of every correspondent that's ever been transmitted, but certainly the, the messaging and the offer that was in that messaging. And the reason why this is powerful for the marketer and for, for the call center rep is, again, they can see the correspondence. And actually, we can see in this case, Bill got the snapback offer. He received it, he had it, but it looks like he probably just didn't use it in time, but that's okay, we can re-download, reissue, get his offers, keep your bills happy, because then you get more dollar bills. You just, you just made that up. I did. You did. I'm, I'm out, good night. <laughs> Where's our host? <laughs> so you get now. Yeah, it's me again. That's more Jillian. It's, you can't get enough of Jillian and Jillian, quite frankly. And John. All the J's. Yeah, I guess. You're like the Adele of Cheetah. Did you know that? I did not know that, no. you're rolling in the EDP. Ah. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you so much. Really appreciate your tour of, of digital. We got to, someone's just getting it. <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> so you've seen firsthand the ease of building emotional loyalty through a combination of highly targeted rewards, offers, and points building experiences that you can launch across channels very easily, and even in mobile wallet.